What's up guys, I am Kenny from Upscale Lures, and if you're into fishing design or 3D printing, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out a video every single week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the 3D printed Upscale Lures lipless crankbait. Let's get started. If you'd like to print this out completely free, I will leave a link in the description below with the STL file. Feel free to print off as many as you like. If you have any luck on this thing, please uh, share some photos with us. We'd love to see them. Right here, I am taking off the raft with a good pair of pliers. Uh, it does seem to vary how tough it is, um, maybe with different filaments. Uh, right there, I'm using just a paint scraper to get the rest off. Um, you could even sand some of it too if you'd like. Right there, I'm taking some of the uh, material out of the eyelets. I'm adding, it is some lead shot to uh, add some rattle to the lipless crankbait. Those work pretty well. Could also do a silent one. Uh, right here, I'm adding the uh, weights. Uh, if you see, it's quantity 30, um, and there's that specific item number which you're gonna wanna get so it does fit nice and snug. And it does fit pretty well, as you can see right here. That sticks exactly how I wanted it so you're not uh, casting that thing and uh, it flying out. Nice tight fit, and I was thinking about maybe even uh, making a design, you know, like some end caps you could shove in there so you don't see that, but uh, otherwise, you know, it does work just fine. Right here, you can hear the rattle. Sounds pretty good. I'm sure that'll attract some fish. Now I'm going to add the eyelets. Uh, first, you're gonna want to drill the holes. Um, depending on how big the eyelets are, I've snapped countless eyelets. So you're going to want to kind of judge if you need to or not. Um, just want to take it easy when you're putting the eyelets in there. Uh, clean the rest out of the, uh, the debris out of the eyelet holes. Razor blade probably work a little bit better. Now I am uh, twisting it in and then like twisting it back a little bit. It's like the same way you would do a tap, um, just a little bit uh, better way to prevent it from snapping off. And I'm assuming longer eyelets are better so you don't have them rip out, which I haven't had a problem yet. And also you could actually add a little bit of epoxy or super glue so you know you're getting a uh, nice secure uh, fit with those Now I will be adding the hooks and eyelets or uh, excuse me the split rings uh, For this, you know, you could use whatever you want, you know, take it off an old lure, you know, big hooks Smaller hooks uh, like on that black one. I have the red hooks on it um, This blue one I have the black hooks and then actually on the other one the gray one I still have the red hooks on it and there we go Pretty easy to assemble, nothing too crazy, just some split rings, some weights, and that should give yourself a fully functional lipless crankbait. Uh, like I said earlier, if you do want to print this, the STL file will be in the description page below. If you do print some up, I uh, would love to hear your feedback, good or bad, if there's any issues or if there's something you would like changed on it. It always helps us out to make these things better. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like it, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.